Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to Exclusive Modest. Hope you have a wonderful day. Today's, today's episode is going to be on how to cut a dress with a gather, a gather split around the ammo. It has a white ammo as you can see it on the screen. So, the first thing I'll be doing here is to take the, is to fold the fabric. But before then, so I'm using silk fabric and crepe fabric. I'm using three out of this fabric and one and a half yard of silk fabric, can see? Then this is going for the body. The, the crepe is going for the body. Then the silk is going for the sleeves. So let me fold it. And this dress I'm talking about, it has an half cut. It has a dot also. So the next thing I'll be, the first thing I'll be doing here is to cut out the half cut. Oh. This is half cut, 17 inches for the half cut. The actual measurement for this half cut is 15 inches, but I want it to be full, as you can see it on the screen, that I use 17 inches. So by the time you you tie the belt, it's going to fold up like this and form the way it is on the screen. So that's why I'm using the 17 inches for the half cut. And this has been folded into four, you can see, leaving the zip allowance at the back. This is the allowance I'm leaving at the back for the zip allowance. This is not custom, you can use any measurement of your choice. And here, for this particular style, you can say not to put um, zip, you can say to put a button at the back, just make sure at the waist area is big so that you'll be able to wear it. So the first thing I'll be doing here is to take the shoulder measurement. The shoulder measurement here is 7.5 inches. This is 7.5 inches with the shoulder slant of one inch. One inch of shoulder slant, you can see. And I'll be slanting it up to this area. So you can see it to this place. So the next thing is the arm measurement. At this area, we didn't need arm measurement for this particular side. What we need is the we need the bust tension, but we have to determine the arm measurement just for us to know where the bust is. So the arm measurement is also 7.5 inches like this. Then the damp part, which is the waist, the measurement I'll be using here is 30 inches. This is 30 inches. 30 inches. You can see. 30 inches, the same allowance of one inch. You can see now. So this is the bust measurement. The this is the point at which we're going to take our bust measurement. So the normal bust measurement for this, for this, um, the, the normal bust measurement is 36 inches. This is nine. In four places, it's going to be 36 inches. The same allowance of one inch. So you can see. So, all this measurement, this is when you are taking, if you want to take the bust measurement and the waist measurement, but here, we don't need the bust measurement, like I said earlier. So then from this particular waist measurement of 7.5 inches, I'll be deducting one inch from it. That means it will remain 6.5 inches from here, you understand? So as we want to take the waist measurement, that is when we'll be adding one into it. But here, we're still going to add a slip to it. This slip that I'm talking about is going to give the waist, it's going to give additional measurement to the waist. So that is why we are deducting one inch from the waist measurement. So, so that from this 7.5, we'll be able to make a slant shape to this 6.5. You can see now the difference is now one inches. This is 7.5 for the shoulder. 
then this is 6.5 for the waist like this seven point five you can see now so this is now the shape you can see it's not straight we slant it down to this six point five yes this is now the shape so after this now I'll be cutting it out so this is now the half cut you can see so the next thing now is to take the the neckline the neckline, yeah, I'll be using 2.5. Then 2 inches for the back neck. The length, the deepness of the back is going to be 2 inches. Then I'm going to use my armor core to bring out the shape. You can see. Then I'm going to cut it out. Then taking the back away. Then I'm going to dip the Front neck with one inch. I'll be using my ammo core to trace it out. Then I cannot cut. And this is for the shoulder slant. So we are done with the cutting of the half cut. So the next thing is to cut the damper to make it a complete dress. So this is for the damper. This is the fabric that we folded into four equally. You can see it. I'm not going to put a zip allowance at this damper because at the whole part where I put my zip allowance, I'm still going to close it to put a button to it. So let's have want to put a zip to this now make sure when you cut when you're folding this particular one you fold it with a zip allowance also so the next thing i'll be doing here is to take the waist measurement the waist measurement is 7.5 inches but here i'll be holding one inch to it because this is not the area where we want to join our sleeve to and it's not going to, if we didn't have a seam allowance to it, it's going to be tight. Because we want to join a sleeve to that upper part. That is why I'm deducting one inch for the normal waist measurement. But here is going to be actual waist measurement with a seam allowance. So I'll be adding one inch of seam allowance to it. Then, so after that, you take the hip point. Here, I'm not going to make a fitted, I'm making an airline, but with that, you must know your hip measurement so that it's all tight at the hip area. So, the hip measurement for this tie is 38 inches. 38, this is 9.5 in four places, it's going to be 38 inches. Then, I'll be adding 1.5 inches to it just to make it free. 
so this is now my the wideness of the hip now then from here now from the waist to this i'm going to make a slant line to the down part you can see and that is how i'm going to do so i'm just cut it out and so i can see properly So this is now the shape of the damp part. So and take it 15 inches up. The 15 inches is the actual waist length. The here I'm having 54 and I'm going to 60. So that means I'm still going to add six inches to it to make a complete length. So I'll be adding 6 inches to the damper just to make it complete length and if you want it to a 3 quarter you can leave it at 54 inches. So the next thing to cut out now is the sleeve. So this is going for the sleeve. This is the sleeve length. Taking, I'm taking um 7.5 inches up. going for the sleeve length the sleeve length here is 26 inches for the sleeve length then i'm going to add three inches to it and this is 3.5 inches as you can see this is 3.5 inches so by the time we take up half inch for seam allowance it's going to remove three inches for the band and this particular band we're going to add a gum stay to it to make it stand then to just make it stand, then we pleat this around this band. The wideness of the band is 11 inches. This is with the seam allowance. And this length, the sleeve length is 26 inches. So 26 plus 3 inches making 29 inches. You can see it now. Then this length, the whole length here. This is the area that we're going to make a gathers on, then pleat it at both sides of the half cut. And the length is 60 inches. You can see the wideness is now 60 inches. So we're going to make a gathers here. It gathers. Then this is the area that the other side here we're going to make a pleat at the band here so let me go and do all this and show you how it's going to turn out joining everything together so i also explained where i did this particular uh point to you because if you cut it out if you can't join it it doesn't have any excess of cutting up so i would like to explain this particular area to you because it's very very necessary this is after doing the gathers you can see then i place it around here you can see for both sides if you think that this is too wide for you, you can try to reduce it. No, we use 60 inches for the wideness of this fabric. So you can try to reduce the wideness if you like by using 40, 50, any measurement of your choice. So when I get to this area, to the way, no, I add this to the half cut. And this is how it's going to be. When you add it to the half cut, this is how it's going to be. 
then to have to stitch the damp part to this now you're going to notch the center you can see the way i did mine i not the center of the half cut then you not the center of the damp part that i want to join to it so from this no when we're cutting it out that time we deducted one inch from this then we added one inch to the damp part you know so to get that and to be able to sew to shape it if you want to sew it because you can see this end the curve ends here and at that part the curve ends here you can see they're not equal so how to join it when you notice the center then you place it like this the way i place it then you stretch it to reach this way. you can see this is an excess that i said is going to give the waist measurement this is where the waist end and this is the excess uh, this is the allowance that we're going to get from the sleeve you can see where it extends to so after notching the center then you place your down to it then you stretch it to this area you can see where it is now you can see you can see where it's rich the same thing applicable to the other side too after that you can now stitch coming from the um from this place you cannot stitch then you cannot be able to stitch both back and forth together you can see now so this is the band then i make a gathers around the band too so i'm going to make a hole here then add my buttons to it you can see this is the neckline i'm I, that i told you that i'm not going to use a zip allowance then i close it down when i close it down i leave up to four inches then i turn it this way so this is where i'm going to put my buttons and that is all about this so this is the down part as you can see this is the down part now so you can see how beautiful this now so let me wear it on the manicure and see the beauty You cannot see how beautiful this turns out. So that this look at the 1.5 inches that added to the waist measurement is for it to puff up like this. You can see. So this is the beauty of that 1.5 inches added to the um, waist length, just for it to have this shape. You can see this is the uh, waist side this is the ammo so you can see so you can decide if you know this is too big you can set to reduce the wideness and also reduce the length it depends on how you want yours to be but you can see how it turns out because this is very simple if you are watching for the first time you are in the right place to be and make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you on your notification bell so that whenever i upload any tutorial You'll be notified. See you in my next class. Assalamu alaikum.